build back better. That's not only a UN slogan, it is one of the slogans of Joe Biden as he ran for president in 2020. It's kind of surprising and shocking for a lot of people to see that Pope Francis today actually issued a quote saying to help our society to, quote, build back better, end quote, inclusion of the vulnerable must also entail efforts to promote their active participation. Hashtag IDPD with a link. And I'm going to go into that link in just a little bit. I want to note here that Pope Francis puts his quotes on Build Back Better. It's right there. He's letting us know. He's not just saying let's build that back better. He's using the slogan, which is related to the UN. And, and look right here. Build Back Better is one of the slogans of Joe Biden. A lot of people got on my case when they said, well, do you think that Pope Francis favors Joe Biden? And I said, he doesn't favor, he promotes him. Pope Francis wants a fake Catholic in the presidency to complete the union and axis of a communist China with a communist America, communist United States. Oh, Taylor, you're such a conspiracy theorist. You're crazy. Hmm. Pretty much everything that I've been saying in the last two years that people said, that Taylor Marshall's crazy, it's all coming to pass. We are deeply infiltrated with a deep church in the Catholic Church and a deep state in the world governments, but particularly in America. And I don't know if you've been watching the news, we have a disputed election right now. Dominion voting machines, dead people voting, votes being switched over. It's, an, it's a huge mess. And I'm going to read today the document that Pope Francis released in which he uses Build Back Better I, at least three times, maybe more. It's a new slogan, and I'm going to show how Pope Francis uses it in the context of Matthew's gospel in an unorthodox way, a wrong way. It's very important that we, we start to catch on to what's going on in the church and in the state. Before we do all that, we are going to pray. If we don't pray, this whole thing is pointless. So I invite you to pray with me. We'll pray the Lord's Prayer, the Pater Noster. Oremus. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater Noster, qui es in celi, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum. Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas en tentationem, se libera nos amalo. Amen. Mighty God, we pray that you would deliver us and save us from wolves in sheep's clothing. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fidei et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. All right, gets pretty deep today. I think y'all remember the video that I did several months ago on Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano warning President Trump of solve et coagula, which is what is tattooed on Baphomet's arms. And it is the slogan of the occult, the Freemasonic order. I'm going to put them on the screen because I just so you can have a reference. He's an ugly guy. He's a demon. But on his forearms, you can see on the right arm, it's tattooed solve, which is Latin for dissolve, to break apart. And on the left arm is coagula, which means to put back together, to coagulate. I'm going to get him off the screen. Praise be Jesus Christ, conqueror of all demons. Build back better I think is the sanitized 2020 version of Solve et Coagula. We're going to destroy the current church. We're going to destroy the current political structure and the economic structure. And we're going to Coagula, build back better. It's the Karen version of Solve et Coagula. Now, this tweet went out today, Pope Francis. I'll read it again for those of you just joining us. By the way, uh, let's get some more people in here. 
and learn about this, please like the video. Most importantly, please share the video. Hit the share button and share it on Parler, Facebook, and Twitter. Do it now. Let's get some people in here. Share it. And if you're new here on YouTube, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. All right, this new tweet to help our society to build back better. And he provides a link, which we're going to look at. He uses the quote mark. So I don't want anyone saying, well, Taylor, you're he, just because he says the word build back better. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean he's agreeing with Biden. Uh, the biggest political story on planet Earth right now is rotating around build back better with Joe Biden. This this is the slogan of Joe Biden's presidential campaign. Now, I'm going to share with you the document that Francis just released. Let me see if this will work out here. There we go. Nice. I'm going to have to remove or minimize some of this here. Okay, so this is the uh, the new document. Uh, it's the message for the uh, International Day of Persons with Disabilities. All right, and in the second paragraph, this is... Um, Pope Francis released this today. This is a brand new document. So you're seeing this for the first time. In the second paragraph, he says, the theme of this year's celebration is building back better toward a disability inclusive, accessible and sustainable post COVID-19 world. He says, I find the expression build back, building back better quite striking. I bet you do Pope Francis. I bet you do. Francis goes on to say, it makes me think of the gospel parable of the house built on rock or sand. So I take this special occasion to share some reflections based on that parable. And then he goes on to quote himself in Evangelii Gaudium, he taught, and then he quotes himself in Fratelli Tutti. And he brings up this parable of the house built on sand or the house built on rock. Now, before I get to that parable, let me pull back on screen here. Before I get to that parable, I want to highlight the meaning of build back better from the UN, the United Nations. Okay, so it looks Francis is getting build back better from Joe Biden, but in reality, Joe Biden and Francis are getting it from the UN. And if you go to Wikipedia, I know it's not always the best, but it, it at least shows you the UN use of, there's actually an entry for building back better, also known as the BBB approach. Here is the opening statement. Tell me if this sounds familiar. Quote, BBB, building back better, is a strategy aimed at reducing the risk to the people of nations and communities in the wake of future disasters and shocks. The BBB, Building Back Better Approach, integrates disaster risk reduction measures into the restoration of physical infrastructure, social systems and shelter, and the revitalization of livelihoods, economies, and the environment, end quote. Pause. Building Back Better is related to the Great Reset. It is based, according to this definition, on disaster risk reduction. What are they talking about right here? They're talking about COVID-19. Disaster risk reduction. What does disaster risk reduction look like to these globalist leaders? It means always wearing a mask. It means social distancing six feet. It means closing down small businesses, but airlines can be open, packed, no spacing whatsoever. And it means that churches need to be closed or reduced to 25%, 50%, no singing, um, banning of communion on the tongue, etc. It is a disaster, disaster risk reduction. And what does it involve? Well, it goes on to define the restoration of physical infrastructure, social systems, shelter, and the revitalization of livelihoods, economies, and the environment. So what they want to do with BBB, Build Back Better, is they want to modify your livelihood, your economy, 
in your environment. They're going to build back better. Building back better presumes that what was there before is gone. It's destroyed. Build back better means that the old structure is leveled to the ground. It's over. And this, Pope Francis is endorsing. Not good. This is not good at all. Now let's see what Pope Francis says in his document that came out today. Put it back on the screen. Here we go. Building back better. He says it reminds him of the parable in of building on the rock or the sand. Uh, it's in Matthew and in Luke. Let me see now if I can share that with you on the screen. Nope, don't want Apple. I want the Bible. Here we go. Here's the Bible. Is this coming on the screen for y'all? Yes. All right. This is, uh, of course, the Dewey Rames Bible. And the parable happens here towards the end. Beginning on verse 24. Let's move this here. Everyone, therefore, that heareth these my words and doth them shall be likened to a wise man that built his house upon a rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and they beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded on a rock. And everyone that heareth these my words, and doth them not, shall be like a foolish man that built his house upon the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and they beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall thereof. And it came to pass when Jesus had fully ended these words, the people were in admiration of his doctrine. Here endeth the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Now, Pope Francis is using this parable for build back better. But ask yourself this question. Is anything being built back in this parable? Is in this parable that Pope Francis is citing to justify his build back better BBB agenda, is anything in this passage that he is referring to, to substantiate what he's saying in BBB, build back better, is anything in this parable about building back? No. Christ gives a binary beginning in a binary outcome. You either hear his words and do them, doth them, in the Dewey Rhymes. That's building your house upon a rock, and no matter how many storms come, floods, rain, that house is going nowhere because it's built on the words of Jesus Christ. There is no need to build anything back if you follow and do the words of Jesus Christ. Do y'all follow me? Give it a give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Does that make sense? Does that have anything to do with what Pope Francis is trying to make this parable do? No. Now, what's the other option? The other option is everyone that heareth my words and doth them not, that does them not, shall be like a foolish man that built his house upon sand. When the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew, they beat upon that house and it fell. And that's not the end of the parable. Jesus Christ, our Lord says, and they beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall thereof. That's the parable. There is no build back better in this parable. You either build a home on the rock of Christ's words that will never fall down. The dogma, the doctrine, the morality of the Catholic Church will never fall down because it's built on the words of Christ. Or you build upon disobedience and rejection of God's word, and that is building on sand, and your house falls down, and great is the fall thereof. There is no build back better, Francis. There is no build back better. Great was the fall thereof. It's over. Done. So how can it be 
that Pope Francis wants us to build back better, and he appeals to this parable of our Lord Jesus Christ, and it just, it doesn't fit. What he's trying to promote does not fit with what he's citing in the Gospel of St. Matthew. It's wrong. We go back to the uh, document here. I'm going to see, let's see, put it back on the screen here. Okay, that's the Bible verse. I want to get back over here to, there it is, the building back better. So what we already did the second paragraph. And then in the third section, he says, to help our society, quote, build back better. Every time he uses it, he puts the quotes on it. He wants you to know this is a slogan. Joe Biden's slogan is now Pope Francis's slogan. I know you don't out there do not like me saying that, but it's the truth. The slogan of Joe Biden is now the slogan of Pope Francis. We have to deal with that. Section three. The Rock of Active Participation. Oh, By the way, the history of active participation in the liturgy and the citations going back to Pius X and others, I handle all those in my book, Infiltration. There's been a lot of sleight of hand on that phrase, active participation. I won't even go into that today. Section three, to help our society to, quote, build back better, Inclusion of the vulnerable must also entail efforts to promote their active participation. Then he goes on again to quote himself in Evangelii Gaudium and Fratelli Tutti and his address to the Catechesis of People with Disabilities. And in the final paragraph, he says, May our common desire to build back better. And here, once again, he, let me make myself smaller. Here, once again, he uses the quotes. give rise to new forms of cooperation between both civil and ecclesial groups and thus build a solid house ready to withstand every storm and capable of welcoming people with disabilities because built on the rock of inclusion and active participation. What is this? What is this? Francis is saying, may our common desire to build back better lead to cooperation between civil and ecclesiastical groups. Francis wants to unite the UN Build Back Better program with the church. I'm not, this is not me making a conspiracy theory. I'm reading the words of Francis himself to you today on YouTube. Go read it yourself. He's saying that the slogan of Joe Biden and of the UN, Build Back Better, which he puts the scare quotes around, may it give rise to new forms of cooperation between civil and ecclesial groups and thus build a solid house. Francis, you don't need the UN and civil authorities in 2020 to build a solid house. The solid house was built 2,000 years ago. It was established by Jesus Christ, built on the rock of St. Peter. The infallible apostolic deposit of faith that can never change. You have no authority in 2020 to call upon the UN and other civil and ecclesial authorities to build a solid house. When Christ was speaking in Matthew 7, he wasn't talking about in 2,000 years, one day, there will be a progressive pope who will work with the United Nations to finally build the house that I'm talking about. Christ says the house is built on those who hear the word and do it. Not the UN, not the globalists, not the euthanasists, the abortionists, the global planners, the billionaire tech companies. That's not what Christ is talking about. 
Francis goes on to say, and thus build a solid house ready to withstand every storm and capable of welcoming people with disabilities because built on the rock of inclusion and active participation, end quote. Excuse me, but Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior in Matthew said it's built on hearing and doing the words of Jesus Christ. It's not built on inclusion and active participation in slogans like build back better. I can't believe they think we are this stupid and that Francis would issue a document on December 3rd, 2020 saying this garbage. This is garbage. To take the parable of building the house on the rock or the sand and to try to smash it into a UN agenda of build back better is offensive and wrong. And we Catholics... We should not accept this. This is insane. This is wrong. If someone, a high school student, was assigned to write a paper on, explain to us uh, Matthew 7, the parable of building upon the rock and building upon the sand, and they wrote about uh, UN diversity, inclusion, and active participation and cooperation between civil and ecclesial groups, they would get a F minus. And this is abusing the gospel. You want to talk about a grift. This is a grift to use the name Catholic, to use the name Rome, to use the name church and to take the words of Jesus Christ out of context and put them into a UN agenda context in the year 2020. It's ridiculous. So I'd encourage you to go read this document, not because it's good, but so you're aware. And then we all need to accept the fact that this guy here, Joe Biden, and this guy here, Pope Francis, They're buds. They agree. They want to build back better. And Francis, you take him at his word in this document he put out today, the house built upon the rock has never been built, according to him. He's calling upon cooperation between civil and ecclesial groups right now to build a solid house right now in 2020, as if Christianity in the Catholic Church has not existed for 2,000 years. It's Francis who comes along and initiates the house built upon the rock with, with a, a handshake with the UN. Mm. No, thank you. This is a giant scam. It has to do with China. It has to do with Joe Biden. It has to do with McCarrick. And it's not a conspiracy theory. Let's pray. Oremus. Nomine Patris et Fidi et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et ora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Michael, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Our Lady Pure Theotokos, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy. Nomine Patris et Fidii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. One last word. I'm going to read it from the Gospels. Matthew 7, verse 26. And everyone that heareth these my words and doth them not shall be like a foolish man that built his house upon the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and they beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall thereof. Let me tell you something. 
Francis and all those like him, Joe Biden, says he's a Catholic. If you try to build a house on the United Nations, the UN, and on immoral vaccines, and you destroy churches and businesses and close down Easter and Pentecost and Christmas and all that, if you do that, you are not building on the rock of Jesus. You are not hearing his words. You are not doing his words. And when the rains and the floods and the wind come, your cheap house of cards built on lies will fall. It will fall hard. And great was the fall thereof. You'll be finished. God will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Happy Advent. And um, if you like this video, hit the like. Most importantly, share it. You got to share these videos. YouTube no longer promotes any videos I do. It's over. That time is over. It used to be that they would push them and promote them and recommend them to Catholics and other people. Now that I've done political stuff and I talk about the UN and I talk about Trump and I talk about these Joe Biden, my days on YouTube expansion are over. So the only way people will see this video or other videos is if you hit the share button and you share it right now on Parler, Twitter, or Facebook. Otherwise, this video will die. It's over. And then uh, if you're on YouTube, subscribe. All right. Pray that rosary every day. That's how you, you build upon the rock. Because the rosary requires you to meditate upon this. Sacred scripture. The rosary, the 15 decades that the Blessed Virgin Mary gave to St. Dominic. Those are mysteries of Christ's life in the Bible. And we pray the rosary, we meditate on those things. So we build our lives on the rock of Jesus. So pray the rosary every day. Read the Bible every day. Five, ten minutes. I've been reading the Gospel of St. John here on the YouTube channel. I invite you to uh, join us. We've only done the first three chapters. Today, I'll be reading the fourth chapter of St. John. We're going to do it all the way through Advent. There's 21 chapters in, in John's Gospel. Until then, remember our Lord Jesus Christ said you were the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty. God bless. Godspeed. And we'll see you later for the reading of St. John's Gospel.